Oh, it's time for out with the old and in with the new for 2023. And of course, it goes for skin care. Joining us now to talk about skin care trends for the new year, Dr. Deval Vanasali, a board certified dermatologist. Nice to have you back. Great to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to mess up this one. It's called skinimalism. That's your first trend. <laughs> what is that? And then how do we get on board? So I think for years, people were doing 10 step, 12 step, 15 step routines, and it yeah. caused a lot more harm than good. And so we kind of circled back towards keeping it simple. I tell my patients, keep the basics going. A moisturizer with SPF, um, an antioxidant, and a night retinol, which 99% of all you need, and the rest of it is kind of icing on the cake. Not two things is all you need? I three things. So oh, three I, I, like to come, I like to come with a moisturizer and the okay. sunscreen together. Uh, two birds, one stone makes it easier than your antioxidant and the retinol at night. All right, so then that brings us to the fad skincare trends that are out there. There's a lot of them. Are they still popular? <laughs> the problem is they're popular for a couple of weeks and they die down and a lot of misinformation goes out there. Yeah. Uh, I tell my patients, keep it simple. Um, there's something called skin cycling that's trending right now. One of my colleagues, Whitney Bow, had, uh, had coined it. It's something as dermatologists have been recommending for a while. Mm -hmm. Exfoliate you know, minimalistically, you don't have to do too much. Let your skin recover. When you use your retinol, you can start every other night or every third night. Work your way up to every night, but don't overwhelm your skin. Think about your skin barrier and take it slow. I, I always feel like there's different words that, you know, are really important. Like retinol is one of them right now. Vitamin C was one a few years ago. What are the skincare ingredients that we should be looking for these days? So those are some great ones. So vitamin C is an antioxidant. It helps to protect you from the sun, UV damage. Obviously, your sunscreens are important. And retinol is uh, it's a great ingredient. It's vitamin A. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a natural ingredient. It helps with texture, tone, pores, scars, uh, aging. So it helps with a little bit of everything. And also in your acne when you're much younger. So, you know, again, there's a lot of great ingredients. I love niacinamide as well, chamomile, like calming ingredients. Yeah. But I try to steer my patients away from those really harsh chemicals that can cause more harm than good. All right, I know you have patients coming in for a lot of office procedures. Is there anything that's trending right now or popular or preventative because people kind of do a restart this time of year? Yeah, so I'm actually really liking um, this new kind of mindset people have. They're treating their skin kind of like they do with the gym. They have a regimen, they have a system, they don't stray too far off of it. I tell my patients, you know, you don't have to chase every fad or every single, you know, laser trend out there you know work with your dermatologist create a game plan if you want to get a laser once a year it's a good start um, to maintain your skin the integrity of the collagen um, if you want to do something like a neuro uh, neurotoxin like a botox or something you know every three months create a structure so you're not jumping in there trying to do all these right. different things that's where you can get into trouble so if you have structure you're not gonna you know again be overwhelmed with too many choices you kind of steady the ship and you go and those are my patients that do the best those are the ones that age gracefully as they say um, and usually the happiest. Pro-aging, that's what they call it nowadays, right? Pro-aging. Uh, exactly. Real fast, looking at the cost, a lot of these can get can get pricey. What do the preventive treatments usually cost? It's a good question. It depends. Um, it could be a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. Again, if you're using your sunscreen with SPF, yeah. your retinol every night, that's the best way to prevent having to or at least slow down the use of all these things and save money long term. So a lot of it's about just laying that groundwork, keeping that infrastructure solid. And then, you know, as you need to, you do things. But again, you don't have to jump to do things just because everybody else is doing them. Dr. Bonasali, always good to see you. Always nice to have you sharing the Great trends. All right, for Absolutely. more skin and uh, hair tips, uh, follow Dr. B on Instagram at Dr. Bonasali.